In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can self-host NA10 using Hostinger in under five minutes. I'll show you exactly how you can set up your VPS, virtual private server, how you can install it within NA10, and how you can start using it right away. With that being said, let's dive in. Chances are that if you're watching this video right now, that means you probably don't have the Black Friday sale, which is why I left a link down below where you can actually sign up to Hostinger and get a discount. But if you go to pricing right here, and you go to the N10 VPS, which again is a virtual private server, allowing us to host N10, we have different options. Now, I recommend that you get this right here because of the specs and the different features, but you can also start with the KVM one and then upgrade later if you need. So I'm gonna press choose plan. It will then take you to this page right here. You can then have either the 24 months plan or the one month, which is what we're gonna be doing today which is $8 and then it will increase to about $14. Bear in mind that if you go 24 months, it gets cheaper over time. And you compare it to N10's pricing, which is 24 euros, which is about $30 a month uh, for the monthly plan. It does actually get $300, $400 cheaper. Once you choose the one month, you also have the option to choose the daily auto backup. Now this right here is so that we get our data backed up every single day and it's secure, it's safe. Although this is recommended, it's not needed. Then we have the server location. Again, this right here would be the server location that is the nearest either to you or your audience. Now, because I'm in Spain, the best latency right here, it gives us Germany, but it can also be France. In this case, let's just do Germany. And for the operating system, this will be N10. So just press N10, confirm. And now we can continue and register for an account. Just continue. And all we have to do is just pay. Once you pay, it will give you the confirmation that you paid and it will then redirect us to the next page, which is a page for us to be able to create a password, which again, isn't for Hostinger, it's just for your virtual private server. So make sure that when you make this password, you store it somewhere safe. I'm gonna press next. Then you also have the option to put the malware scanner to keep your VPS safe and block malicious files. Now I recommend you add this. There's no extra cost to this, so it's fine. I'm gonna press finish setup. And now you have to wait a few minutes until the VPS is set up. Once that's finished, we can now go to the VPS dashboard right here and we'll have to fill out an onboarding questionnaire. Just put this and you're good to go. And now what we can do to be able to manage the server instead of N10 is press manage app. It will take you to N10 to make an account. So I just added my email, my first and last name and my password and make sure not to turn this on or else you will get promotional emails spammed in your inbox. Um, press next. It will take you straight to N10 right here. Fill out these questions. We can press get started. And now you'll also have the option to get the free license key. Now, if we press this, we're also able to get the paid features for free forever. So might as well do it. I can press send a free license key. That will come over your inbox and we'll just wait a minute before we go to our inbox to find it. So now we have N10 self-hosted using Hostinger and we can start going here and be able for us to make any automation that we want. So AI agent and that's it. Now, if I go to my email, I also see that I have my free license key right here. I can press activate license key. And now you easily have it activated. As you can see here, license activated for my account. And now you can start building your N10 AI agents in workflows. So that right there is how you can self-host N10 using Hostinger. Again, the link's down below in case you want to sign up and check out this video on the screen where I show you how you can self-host N10 using Docker. With that being said, I hope you found value from this video and I'll see you in the next one.